can I talk about these? Sure, yeah. Okay, because you blessed me with some Blade nostalgia right here. Um, we'll, we'll talk about these first. So these are the Epic Frames. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. And these were supposed... Well, you, you would talk about them. You let people know what, what was Tom, going on with those. Tom made like three of these, three or four of these ones. And I got this pair, Julian got a pair, and then I don't know what happened to the other ones. And I skated these for almost four years. Like three and a half years, probably. Three and a half, four years. The same pair? Same pair. Same pair. Yeah. And you don't know, like, what happened with them or nope. what was going on? Nope. <laughs> Just rode them down? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this was well, like the Razor Twins company. Yeah, the Racers came in to to work with them, and then something didn't work out. I don't know. And then the other ones are what Racers gave me. Those ones that oh, you gotta run out yet. Oh, I got them here. We'll, we'll we'll bring these out too, I guess. So you, you you could talk about these as well. Was this like a second iteration of them or something? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm telling totally you, like the race, like Scott and Kevin showed up at my house and just gave them to me. You know, it's really clever I how they know did they Epoch. Sold, how many they made you know, or anything. For Epic. Yeah. Because you know. these look like... <laughs> oh, we're dropping wheels everywhere. But these look like super solid frames, and it's a shame that these never Those do look it. like some really yeah, good frames. Yeah, did you check these out? Yeah. These are crazy. Right? That's like a really good solid frame. How do you have these? <laughs> I told <laughs> you, like, they called me to come over. Like, they play poker and gamble a little bit as well. The Razor Twins? Yeah. Well, yeah. You stay in touch? I haven't talked to him, and it's been a couple of years since I've uh, gotten in touch with him. But yeah, they just came over and was like, "Yeah, we we got these made." So we figured you'd want a pair. I was like, "Yeah, sure." Are you making them? And he's like, "They're like, I don't know." It's like, "All right, <laughs> thank you." <laughs> and I've had them ever since. I didn't want to skate them. Like, that's dope. I don't know what happened. It's Kevin or Scott. Where are you? Okay, here's the real question. Do you have any physics that are on the low? <laughs> I do have physics. I got some from long uh, six or seven months ago. How many pairs? How many pairs are we talking about? I have a black pair that's set up to go that I, like can, is rideable, and then I have a brand new pair of grays in a box with instruction manual, and then I have a couple chassis, one large used chassis slightly, and then like a brand new medium chassis that's gray as well. Do you still have the metal rocker arms? Because I, I feel I like some, yeah. yeah, every time I've seen someone have a pair of the metal ones. I have, yeah, I've, I've, uh, actually, I'm probably not. I have to go to Home Depot to get that or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I've had hardware and everything. Like, I just don't take them apart. Dude, we got to see. Those are you. epic. We got to see on some physics busting some gaps, yo. <laughs> no, no more Save gaps. Them. <laughs> no more gaps saving them, right? Yeah. Saving them. Put but, them into the museum. Yeah, straight up. Straight up. Mm -hmm. along, along with these, these are, these are incredible, these things. These look like you could just grind anything with this setup right here. It's like a metal chassis. It's hard to miss with a giant valley right there. They, <laughs> it was a giant valley. It's pretty good for, for flat, too. Oh, it was great for flat, yeah. yeah. It was, but it's it's like, like the best deal for flat. Yeah, the shock is pretty bad, though, on metal frames. But the metal, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they did. They, they grinded very, very well. Like, but that was the first, you know, I think one of the earlier iterations of metal frames. Yeah, definitely. And this is before I, the solo. I think it's one of the better ones too. It's cool that the middle shout out Kyle Solo, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> definitely shout out Kyle Solo. But this, like, with the middle axles that you can't see them, they're hidden. Yeah, like that's a oh, that crazy, is dope. Yeah, you see that's yeah. a crazy concept. The There's Kevin like and weird Kevin, little axles in here. Kevin and Scott made one that had a like a hole right here on both sides that was like a, a best, more official version, I guess. And there was like three pairs of those. I don't know where those are. They probably have them somewhere. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I don't, the plastic ones, I don't know. I have no idea. These just showed up one day. Showed up one day. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool for bringing these two, by the way. Oh, I figured you might want them. Hell yeah, these are sick as fuck. That's part of history right there. Uh, yeah, I want Chris Farmer to sign my Nintendo shadows because I have the box <laughs> and everything, those two. Like, I'm serious. I like, I like yeah, that. I, I would say you've been big on the shadows since the shadows came. I like shadows, yeah. I feel like you're just shadowed now. I, I like them, yeah. Yeah. It's a good. Really, it's a good old man skate. No offense. This is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, they are. It I is mean, because they, you don't have to like worry about squeezing your foot in a boot. Yeah, you, know, you can just like have your old man foot. Yeah, you just take him off <laughs> and walk in the store or something like that, or walk to your. Yeah. Car. Matt Mickey's got a used pair for me that I got to pick up like on this trip. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. dope. I like how there's still a little fan in everybody, no matter who you are. Walt Austin still wants a skate signed by Chris Farmer. <laughs> that's the coolest oh, that. skate I think maybe it's one of the coolest skates ever put out mm -hmm. it comes in a Nintendo box and it looks like a Nintendo 
But you know, I didn't know it came in a Nintendo box. It comes with, yeah, it's like, like a game cartridge. It's pretty, it's <laughs> oh, tight. I didn't even know that. It's tight. Okay, it's cool. Well, all, all the, it, I think it's, you know, I think all, all the best skaters <clears throat> are the biggest fans. That's, yeah. why, that's why they're, that's why it, they're the it's like skaters. the same thing for like boxing or whatever. Like the best people who are out there thing are the most into it. So they're the biggest fans <laughs> or supporters of people who are. Mm-hmm. So. I'll get, I'll get my stuff signed too. Walt, before you leave, I would like something signed. <laughs> <laughs> How can you do it and like for, do be that deep in it and not be a fan of it? That's of course. Kind of, yeah. you, don't, I mean? you, like, you don't become that good or that dedicated to anything without being just the ultimate fan. Yeah. So no, That's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, everyone has their own favorite skaters and you know favorite products and stuff like that. So it's only natural to be a fan like that. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And we're big fans of you. Thank you. I'm fans of you. Yeah, definitely. I should have brought up a copy of BG19 Let's to go. have you sign that. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go.